Today I am going to synthesize ethanol. The first step is to ferment some type of sugar. I start with one kilogram of cane sugar. Note that I am using a five gallon carboy and a much smaller one would work just fine. Next I add nutritional yeast powder to supply secondary nutrients to the growing yeasts. Next add five liters of hot water and shake thoroughly to melt all that sugar. Once the water has cooled down to around 30 to see I will add distiller's yeast to it. Any yeast will work, but distiller's yeast is bred to tolerate up to 15% alcohol before it starts to die. To wrap up this stage, you want to cap the carboy with a bubbler that allows carbon dioxide produced during the fermentation to escape. This will also prevent oxygen or foreign bacteria from getting in and ruining the fermentation. Two weeks later and the bubbler is no longer bubbling, which indicates the yeast is dead. To begin our distillation of ethanol we first need to collect about 750 milliliters of our fermented liquid. Next I set up a simple distillation and added 750 milliliters of the crude ethanol to my 1000 milliliter boiling flask. I also added a few boiling stones to allow it to boil. At first you'll see some carbon dioxide bubbling out of solution. Eventually though you will get a rolling boil and the collected distillate will be a very high purity ethanol. While ethanol is the primary component of alcoholic beverages, this ethanol is about 85% or 170 proof and thus not fit for consumption. Typical liquor is 90 proof or 45% strength. Ethanol is an important organic reagent and solvent, which is the intended use of this product. Finally, to show that what I've made here is truly ethanol, I am going to light it on fire. Ethanol is highly flammable, which is why you might occasionally see people on this app light themselves on fire trying to drink flaming shots. Yep, definitely ethanol. This entire process was just for fun, and it would be far easier to just buy Everclear or an equivalent at the store. Or reagent grade ethanol online. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this, and follow to see more.